Hello and welcome back to the We Are City channel and today we've got a very special one-off video. We're going to be rating the chances of every player on loan, their chances in the first team out of 10. So there's 36 players to cover in this episode, 36 players have found where all the players are, loan from the first team, loan from the youth team all over Europe, all around the world. They are loaned out to teams and we're going to rate them out of 10, their chances in the first team. We're going to start at the lowest and then to the highest and you might even not know some of these players, they're, uh, but they're on City's books. So let's get right into the episode. So the first player to cover in this episode is Ko Itakura. He's a Japanese defender who signed in 2019 and was immediately loaned out to the aid of Izzy. So he's never actually played a game for City. He probably will never play for a game for City. He's 24 years of age. He's six foot one. He's actually impressed, apparently, while he's been on loan in Holland. It looks like he will make a permanent move there. He's 24 years of age, like I said. So being 24, he's not really a youngster who's got time to get into the team in the future. So he's looking like one that won't ever get in there. And um, he stats-wise, he's got 26 appearances this season so far at the time of recording. And he's got one goal, no assists. He didn't tell me how many clean sheets he had. But I've given him a 1 out of 10 rating to get into the first team. He's 24, like I said. He's just, obviously, City have got the centre-backs in Diaz, Stones, Laporte, Ake, Taylor Howard. Bell is coming through, players like that. So I don't think Itakuru has any chance in the first team. So next on the list is the Austrian, well, the American centre-back, out in Austria, it's Eric Palmer, and he's only 23 years of age, which is a surprise. I actually thought he was older than that. He's made 18 appearances this season. He's a centre back. He actually was named number 39 in the Team Talks Top 50 Wonder Kids in 2014. So clearly, his career has gone downhill from there. He was signed from Sporting Kansas in I can't remember. I think around 2016, 2017. And you thought, oh, maybe you know, City have got a young American centre back here that's going to be one for the future. Maybe he was going to go to New York City. He didn't. He was loaned out to some Belgian side. He has actually played at Porto on loan. And he's been on loan at City for a very long time now. He's been on the books for a very long time. And he doesn't look like he's going to get any better, really. He's 23 years of age. He's still playing, you know, in, in Austria now in a, in a low division, in a lower league, really. Not one of the top five leagues in Europe. Not even the top ten, I don't think, in the Austrian league. So, Paul Brown's career isn't Manchester City bound in the future. He will either sign for someone else on a permanent or again on the loan. And they'll just keep loaning him out until eventually they try and sell him for a profit. It doesn't say how much they signed him for. He doesn't tend to with these sort of City football group signings. But I've given him a 1 out of 10. I don't think we're ever going to see Eric Power Brown in the Manchester City first team. Next on the list is Matthew Smith. He's currently at Doncaster midfielder, 21 years of age. He's made 27 appearances and got one goal and four assists at the time recording. So that's pretty uh, a good stuff for him. You I mean, for a defensive midfielder, which where he plays. And he came for the City's youth team. He's been really good in the City youth team, actually. He had a loan to 20 in 20. 18-19 season, he was really impressive there, managed to get a loan to Queen's Park Rangers in the championship and you thought, well, maybe if you can impress there, maybe he will get a chance in the first team. Similar to maybe, you know, a Tommy Doyle, really. Tommy Doyle's got a few chances, hasn't he, in the Manchester City first team. There was big things expected from Matt Smith from there on. Didn't really have the best of the seasons, I don't think, at QPR. He went to Charlton and then it's not worked out Charlton. He's now at Doncaster, I think. Judging by the way, his loans are not really working out and teams don't want to sign him permanently, maybe he's not that good. I mean, he's 21 years of age. I think he's going to have a, a very good career at championship level, but he's just never going to be Manchester City level, and that's the problem with most of the players in this episode today. They're not going to be Manchester City level, so I'll give Matt Smith a 1 out of 10. Don't be expecting to see him in the first team anytime soon. Next on our list is Naul Farassi. Now, a player that I'd never heard of. I didn't even know he played for City, but apparently he was signed by the City Football Group in 2017, and he's currently on loan at Monterese. He's a central defender. He's actually um, a pretty impressive central defender. If you see some clips from him, he looks like he, you know, he is one maybe for the future, not at the City, but maybe somewhere else. He's 22 years of age. Like I said, he's he made 20 appearances this season, so he's getting uh, game time at Monterese. Um, he played for, I think it was Torque, the, or Torque, the Uruguayan side that City actually bought to join the City football group. They clearly picked him out straight away and thought that he was one. It was a, you know, the plan apparently for him to move to New York City. That didn't happen. He moved to Porto B instead. Um, that didn't seem to work out for him. He's been on other loans around um, different teams. But again, the, this Venezuelan defender doesn't look like he's ever, oh, he's Ecuadorian. I'm not quite sure. He's never really going to make it to City. He looks like one again, like the others in this list at the bottom. Just going to keep getting loaned out and loaned out until eventually they try and sell him for a profit. Obviously, City saw something in him when they signed him, but nothing that's going to get him into the first team. So I'll give him a 1 out of 10 for getting into the first team in the future. Next on the list is Aminu Mohamed. He's a young Ghanaian winger who's age of 20 now, and he's currently out on loan at Lommel, which is the play, the team that City have recently bought in Belgium, the second division. He's got zero goals, zero assists, and zero appearances 
for Lommel, yet to make an appearance for them. He was actually first spotted in 2017 at the Alcast tournament while representing Red Bull Salzburg, his parent club of WAFA Academy, which is a pretty well-known ac academy in Africa. And Real Madrid wanted him, Bayern Munich wanted him, but City managed to agree a deal in 2017. And I remember seeing, you know, a few stories about this man. It was, oh, the Ghanaian Neymar, um, lots of stuff, you know, the Ghanaian Ronaldo. He's 20 years of age now, and it's looking like his career isn't really going anywhere. He's been on loan at um, NAC Breda, the Dutch side in the second division that City own. He's been to Dordrecht, who I think are a third division Dutch side, and Lommel, and he's not made an appearance for any of them. And I think the problem with City because they couldn't send him to Europe because he couldn't get a work permit being being Ghanaian. And it's just looking like at the moment that things are not going to work out for him. I've given him a 1 out of 10 because I don't think we'll ever see him in the City first team. But maybe we'll see him somewhere else in the future. He is only 20. He's got plenty of time left in his career. And hopefully he can turn it around and start to get appearances for clubs. Another player on this list is at Lommel, the Belgian second division with Aminu Mohamed. It's Thomas Adjepong, a left winger. His age is 24 now. He's made 27 appearances from this season. And he's got two goals and three assists, which is actually pretty impressive. I think his age isn't on his side, though, to get into the City first team. You know, if this player was 18, 17, 18, players are expected to play so well at a young age now. He's not. He's 24. He joined Manchester City in 2015 from the Right to Dream Academy. And he, he comes through the City youth team. I remember watching him play for the City youth team. He's had a lot of loans since then. Um, I mean, he went to 20 on loan, where City seemed to send a lot of players there. And they see Breda, which is the, the Dutch side, like we said, that City own. He, he had a, a few games there. 39 appearances he made there with two goals. Hibernian in Scotland, nine appearances, one goal. Varsan Beveren, which I'm not sure where that is. He made 14 appearances, no goals. But he's at Lommel at the moment. His career hasn't really gone the way that he thought he might do. He looked like a, a very exciting young winger, did Archie and Pong, and maybe he will do in the future. I feel like he could fit in at a decent club. He's having a decent season, isn't he, at Lommel. He could get in sort of a outside the top five leagues sort of club mid-table-wise, and he could have a good career still. And hopefully, you know, a player from City's youth team, that he does manage to get some time in the future. But I'll give him a 1 out of 10 because we're never, and I don't think ever, going to see this man in the Manchester City first team. Well, unfortunately, we're still on ratings 1 out of 10. This is another one with a 1 out of 10 rating to get into the first team. It's Rotaro Machino. He's currently at Rio Aviv in uh, Portugal. He's a midfielder, 22 years of age. He's made 13 appearances so far this season. Three goals and no assists, which is not a bad record, really, after 13 appearances. He was signed by City in 2019 uh, from Gambo Osaka, a Japanese side. And he's a Japanese international, I think. He looked um, a, a good player, a good young player. He was loaned to Hearts, and he had a very good season at Hearts. In 20 games, he got three assists, and a lot of the, the articles that came out from the Scottish press was that, you know, Hearts wanted to sign him on a permanent deal. He was a, he was a really good player. The, the fans really liked him. Some even said that he could make it at City, uh, some of these articles. However, due to COVID, the league was stopped in Scotland, and Hearts were relegated into the second division. So, you know, he was too good for the second division in Scotland. He ended up joining Rio Aviv in Portugal on a two-year loan. So he's on alone two years there. I don't think we'll ever see him in the Manchester City first team. Again, a 1 out of 10 rating like most of these players. He's just a City football group signing. He's there to make profit. And he looks like a decent player who probably will make profit for the club. Next is Ike Pozo. Now, if you actually watch the City youth team, you'll see he played a lot for the City youth team. Sort of holding midfielder. And if anyone talks about like the perfect Pep Guardiola holding midfielder, Pozo did come into that uh, conversation a lot of times. He did make a few appearances for City in pre-season. And people likened him to the sort of Sergio Busquets, not the most physical midfielder, not the biggest midfielder, but he could really play the you know passes and he looked really good. And you know you thought he could make it at City under Pep Guardiola. He's made 20 appearances, got one goal this season at Eindhoven, FC Eindhoven, which I think is the second team to PSV Eindhoven. He's only 20 years of age, so he's definitely got time to improve. But you know playing the second division, PSV Eindhoven. <sighs> He doesn't look good, to be honest, from my point of view. He was good in the City youth team, like I said. And City signed him from Real Madrid's youth team. So he expected big things from, you know, if he's in the Real Madrid youth team, he must be quite good. But I just don't think there's any chance of ever making it at City. I know he's 20 years of age and like some of the other younger players in this video so far, he said they can still make it in the future. And I think they will make it in the future. Ike Pozo is not one of those that will ever get into the Manchester City first team. So there's another 1 out of 10 writing for him with chances to get into the Manchester City team. So we now move into the 2 out of 10 ratings, players with a 2 out of 10 chance, a 20% chance, I suppose, of getting into the City first team in the future. And it's Miles Moreno. And this man is pretty well known, I feel, the Colombian uh, winger. He's 24 years of age now. He plays at Lommel again in the Belgian second division. 
He's got 18 appearances, 5 goals and 3 assists. So he's actually had a quite good season. And he was a man who was probably the first City Football Group signing that anyone can remember. Uh, I remember him when Pep Guardiola first joined. This man joined along with Gabriel Jesus. And everyone expected more from Moreno than they did from Jesus. Moreno was in Colombia playing really, really well as a winger in Colombia. Young man, he was signed in, 24, uh, in 2016. And from 14 to 2016, Atletico Nacional in Colombia, he had 27 appearances, 5 goals, and he looked like a really good explosive winger. City signed him and immediately loaned him. I mean, he even had a, a City signing video with the shirt and everything, which made it think that he was going to get into the first team. City planned for him to get into the first team. He went on loan to Deportivo La Coruña, made 90 appearances, was impressive there. They got relegated. Went to Girona, which was a poor loan move, only made two appearances. Girona doesn't seem to work out for a lot of the City players. Then he went to Flamenco in Brazil. He made 21 appearances, one goal. Again, not great. He's gone to Santos Laguna. Um, he's been in Portugal. Now he's at Lommel. A very odd one, really. He's sort of been all around everywhere, and he's 24 years of age now, but he's looking like he's having a good season. He's not going to make it to City. That's why he's got a 2 out of 10 rating. I've given him a bit more than the other players, just because I feel like because City won't be announced at the time, did expect him to get into the first team. We may see him there one day, maybe in a pre-season game. He may, may play in the City first team. But other than that, we will not see him. It's a shame because he looked like a young man with a lot of talent, someone that you could see in the Colombian national team, someone that was, when you'd seen, you know, playing games and videos, I mean, he looked really impressive. He's not worked out, unfortunately, so it's a 2 out of 10 for Malos Moreno. Next on the list is another 2 out of 10 rating, a player that I don't know much about. He was signed very recently, and he's on loan from our youth team. It's Cameron Gabadabo. He's on an AFC flight. He's on loan there, a defender, a central defender. He's only 18 years of age. He's got plenty of time. I've rated him lowly because I don't know anything about him, and I can't rate someone I don't really know. But, of course, at 18 years of age, he's definitely got time to grow, hasn't he? City signing from Leicester not too long ago, Leicester's youth team. Obviously, he must be impressive. It doesn't look like, stats-wise, he's made any appearances so far for Fly. But he's only 18 years of age. And hopefully, you know, playing at a team like Fly in the, the lower leagues, in the non-league, I think it is, it can help him with his physicality. Because at 18, you know, you're, you're a youngster. You've not really got the physicality of being in the first team. It's very rare that players do. Uh, so maybe you can get that. So I give him a 2 out of 10 rating. Not much to say on I'm Cameron Gabadabo. But he's from our youth team. And hopefully he has a really good loan and comes back. And I'm hoping maybe we see a good young defender for the future of the club. But uh, at the moment, I can't really rate him. So I'm going to give him a 2 out of 10 chance of getting into the Manchester City first team. Next is Slobdan Tedic. The Serbian forward on loan at Zwal. He's a striker. He's only 20 years of age. Made 7 appearances. No goals, no assists. Which is disappointing at the moment. But he does actually look like quite a bit of a talent. To me, it reminds me of the, the City signing him, sat like when they signed Ant... Uh, uh, who was it? It was Kramaric that Chelsea signed. If anyone remind when they signed Kramaric, he was someone who looked really good in his league. Um, his last club in Romania, I think it was, uh, or Montenegro, Tedic had got eight goals in 57 games, but City have seen something in him, and I can see why. He's got a bit of um, maybe a, a Luka Jovic or a, like a, a Kramaric style to him. Very creative forward, but he's big, he's six foot three. He's a goal scorer, and I think there is chance for him to maybe get somewhere top clubs in Europe, but he's not going to make it at Manchester City. So I've given him a 2 out of 10 rating. He's not having the best of seasons either, which doesn't help, although he's only played six or seven games at the moment for the Swall in, in Holland. But hopefully he can come through. He's been playing for the Serbian youth team, seven games and one goal in Serbia's under-21s. So he's definitely one for the future, just not at Manchester City. So a 2 out of 10 rating for Slobdan Tedic. Well, we're into the players now with a 30% chance, a 3 out of 10 chance of making it into the first team. And first is Luke Bolton. He's on loan at Dundee at the moment. He's sort of a right-back, right midfielder. Plays well, I feel, on a, a right wing-back in a back three. He's 21 years of age. He's made 21 appearances, uh, 23 appearances sorry, for Dundee at the moment. One goal and four assists, which is actually uh, a very good record. He spent loans at Wickham as well in 2019 and also Luton Town, which didn't really work out for him. But he's born in Stockport, Luke, and he's a City fan. And I remember in pre-season, he made an appearance of pre-season for City. And he was really good. It was a game against Liverpool. And he played in sort of when Pep was trying out this back five. When Danilo was playing on the left-hand side of a back five. Or left wing back. And Luke played on the right-hand side of that. And he absolutely burnt Fabinho in that game against Liverpool. And he caused some problems against Real Madrid as well. He's a very pacey young man. He's a hard worker. He'll, he'll put his body on the line. He'll put everything into games. And I do really like him. And unfortunately, I just don't think he will make it at City. He's a bit like a Tosin situation. Tosin Adebayo, who's now left to join Fulham. He's a very good player. He's got a very good chance of making it in the Premier League if he keeps working hard. And he's got that in him. He really is a hard worker. But I just don't think he's going to make it at Manchester City, unfortunately. So a 3 out of 10 for Luke Bolton. But hopefully, he has a really good footballing career. 
Next on the list is Daniel Arzani, a young Australian winger, 22 years of age now though, that looked really, really exciting. When City managed to pick up Melbourne City and bought the club, Daniel Arzani was there and he was absolutely fantastic. He actually scored a goal for Melbourne City youth in the grand final to win them the 16-17 A-League National Trophy. And he was getting in the Australian first team, you know, in 2018. He's made six appearances, six appearances for the Australian uh, national team, the first team as well, not even the youth team. And there was big things expected for him. City signed him is one that you thought, well, we'll have to keep an eye on him, keep a, a good look out for him. He went along to Celtic, unfortunately, as he was sort of trying to make his way into the first team at Celtic under Brendan Rodgers. Eventually, when he finally, Brendan Rodgers said he was ready, he picked up an ACL injury, and that has sort of ruined him completely. He's since been on loan to Utrecht. He's been on loan to the youth side of Utrecht, made six appearances there, and he's at AFG currently at the moment, which are a Danish side. And uh, things are not looking good for Daniel Zani at the moment. He definitely can kickstart his career at 22 with that injury. Really has hampered himself. He's a really exciting, explosive left winger, creative as well. Similar in style maybe to a Patrick Roberts. If you remember, you know, Patrick Roberts who played for City. He was really good at the time. Obviously, it never worked out for him. And uh, he does appear in this video as Patrick Roberts. But yeah, Daniel Arzani, 3 out of 10 rating, 22 years of age. He's not going to make it at City, I don't think. He's got a 30% chance because if he can hit the heights that you expected of him, then I think he could get into the City team. He could be a, a backup winger, not a first team choice winger. But he, he has got real quality if he can get that back to his career. And uh, hopefully he does in the future. But at the moment, it's not looking good for Daniel Alzani. Well, we've just spoke about Patrick Roberts, and here he is. It is Patrick Roberts. He's currently on loan at Derby. Is the winger. He's 24 years of age now. He's made 15 appearances this season. No goals and no insist. I mean, City signed him in 2015 for around 12 million from Fulham, and he looked like an absolute superstar at Fulham. A youngster coming through the youth team. He looked like one of England's best players for the future, and I personally did believe that as well. He went on loan to Celtic from 2016 to 2018. He refused to challenge himself, did Roberts, didn't he? He wouldn't leave Celtic and go somewhere else to a Premier League club or so. He wanted to continue to play at Celtic, and he impressed a lot there. He got 55 appearances. He made had 15 goals for Celtic. So he did really well at Celtic, and he kept wanting to go back, and that was to the frustration, I think, the City board, City fans as well, who thought, you know what, Patrick, you could be a top, top player at this club, but you need to challenge yourself a bit more than the Scottish division. He refused to do so, and then in the end, he ended up moving to Girona, 19 appearances, no goals. Then to Norwich City, three appearances, no goals. Middlesbrough, 19 appearances and one goal. And now, of course, at Derby County. And he's made 15 appearances, no goals and no assists. Things that aren't looking that good for him. Um, he's, he's suffered a few injuries as well that have not helped him out. And I've given him a 3 out of 10 rating. I, I just don't think he will ever make it into the Manchester City first team now, being 24 years of age, when he looked like a dead certainty that he would make it. He sort of, his career's dropped off a cliff as he does with many young English players. Maybe he can revitalise it and make it at maybe a, you know, a mid-tail Premier League club. But at the moment, it's not looking too promising for Patrick Roberts. Next, we have Jack Harrison. Jack Harrison, out of all the players in the whole of these videos, is definitely the most experienced and probably the best player who's playing Premier League first-team football out of them all. I mean, he plays first-team football for Leeds United, which is really good, isn't it, really? Better than any of these. The most experienced player out of all these loan players. He's 24 years of age now. He's made 27 appearances for Leeds. And he's got six goals and four assists. He's having a really good Premier League season this year, as well as Leeds. He was born in Stoke. He's raised in Bolton in Greater Manchester. And he spent time in the Liverpool Academy, the Manchester United Academy, and uh, even in Sheffield, I think he went there. In the end, I think I watched an interview with him. His mother said to him that he's not going to make it at these academies. It's time to move to America. So he moved to America, to New York. He played for the New York City youth team, I think. Came through and then New York City signed him. And he played there, and City, of course, bought New York City. He got 55 appearances for New York, 14 goals. City realised his talent, brought him across the UK. He has played a few games for City in pre-season, but no competitive games. He went alone to Middlesbrough in 2018. Wasn't too impressive. Leeds United picked him up, and he's been fantastic there. Absolutely fantastic for Leeds. He's been so impressive for them. He's got 16 goals in his whole of his time at Leeds, and they will sign him a permanent deal for around £10 million at the end of the season, and that's why I've given him a 3 out of 10 rating. I think performance-wise... Player-wise, experience-wise, Premier League-wise, he's probably, like I said, the best out of all these players. It'd, it'd be a 7 or 8 out of 10, really. But we know he's confirmed to sign for Leeds. The 3 is basically because, in case anything happens, maybe he has a chance. But I think Leeds will sign him for that 10 million because he's such a good player. And I mean, 10 million for a Premier League proven player is nothing, really. You'd think he's worth probably around 20, 25 million. But you know what City are like for selling players? The Jack Harrison has done really well at Leeds. And I'm sure he will continue to. So 3 out of 10 rating for Jack Harrison. And the final player of part one, this is, of course, part one of two parts for these long player videos, 
is Daniel Grimshaw, on loan at Lommel, the goalkeeper, 23 years of age. He's made five appearances and got one clean sheet from, again, another player of the Belgian second division side. City to seem to send anyone there to get him some game time. He's been City's third choice, fourth choice goalkeeper in the squads, and that's why I've given him a 3 out of 10 rating. He's 23, I don't think he's ever going to make it in the Premier League. He doesn't look good enough, unfortunately, but, you know, the, the, nothing against him. He's obviously a good, a good enough player to make it for so long. He's been, like I said, third and fourth choice goalkeeper in the City team. And we could see him maybe, that's why I give him a 3 out of 10 chance rating of getting into Manchester City first team. I think that he could see him in the future. Maybe he's a th fourth choice goalkeeper, you know, in that homegrown spot where we see Scott Carson at the moment. Or a third choice, he could do that job and just be there for, you know, an English player to, to build up the English quota that City need in the squad. He's been on loan in places like Hamill Hempstead Town, plus played for a long time in City's youth team. He's, a, he's six foot one. he's not the tallest of goalkeepers. And he's born in Salford. I think he is a City fan as well. Uh, a young man who, who always has supported City. He signed a three-year deal in 2018. He'll be around for a, a long, a lot longer. I think he will continue to be loaned out until City can find the right move for him. They do tend to look after the players that have come through their youth team. They try to anyway, keep them on the books and get them the right move. But uh, good luck to Daniel Grimshaw. Maybe he will make it to City in the future as a maybe third or fourth choice keeper. But a three out of ten chance rating because I can't see him ever really making it into the first team. So that is going to end today's video, rating loan players' chances of getting into the Manchester City first team. Of course, this is only part one. Part two will be coming very shortly for you guys to see, and that's some of the higher rated players, the players that we think have got more of a chance of getting into the first team, and see who I think has got the biggest chance for getting into the first team. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you got a bit of information about City youth players and, and, and loan players and players that you've never even heard of. Some of them, I was surprised when I researched it, 36 players currently from youth team and first team out on loan. That's a massive amount, isn't it? And at the moment, it looks like maybe about 5% of them maybe have a chance to get into the first team. So thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video. It helps the channel out a lot. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so please do subscribe, and we'll see you next time.